while there have been no uh, spike in school shootings uh, threats here locally, there have been 20 more reports nationally of school shooting threats uh, throughout the country. Local lawmakers say the way to make sure this doesn't happen here locally is to target mental health when it comes to our children. Uh, that was the topic of a forum that happened yesterday here downtown. State Representative Sarah Fagenholtz called on the DCFS to conduct a threat assessment review. The idea is that educators and law enforcement may be able to prevent some incidents if they know what behaviors to look for in kids. Different things like funding and warning signs were discussed. And another important topic was parent involvement. State Representative Steve Anderson is touting a consent decree that he believes helps the agency better evaluate mental health in kids, but doesn't want to let up on evaluating the procedures. There's a great system that's been put into place through the consent degree for review by experts to make sure we're actually going to meet various thresholds. That's excellent. But the reason that we have to have a, 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 a committee meeting like this is to make sure that we're publicizing it, keeping it accountable, making sure the legislature as well as the courts are staying informed and are able to do what's right for our children. The DCFS has not yet responded for a comment. We're going to keep you posted on this developing story as we get more updates. For now, I'm live from the Thompson Center, Brandon Pope, The Jam.